you got any like beer or anything or wine or got something to drink? Up. I'm gonna read off my phone, by the way, and I know that everyone's like, hey, that means that's your thing. Can you open it? Like, my vibe is just that, you know, people use phones. I can see that you're getting. No, I'm not saying anything. No, I know, I know, I saw one. Take one. Take one. What, what do you want me to do then? Before me, add a book or something. I'm gonna read it off my phone. Stop going on about it. Uh, I'd been feeling stressed, so I took a week off work to enjoy a relaxing mini-break. After a quick browse on Booking.com, I found a lovely and secluded spa retreat and decided to book straight away. I was immediately inundated with several flashing messages telling me that this was the very last room available and somebody else had booked a room three nanoseconds ago and there were currently seven billion people looking at the same room as me. I spent my week off in hospital, recovering from the eight panic attacks and four hernias I suffered during the booking process. Quite an anti-booking.com one, that. Take two. When the taxi driver heard that I dabbled in comedy, he told me to tell him a joke. <laughs> when the taxi driver heard that I dabbled in comedy, he told me to tell him a joke. I explained that I didn't really do jokes, more like storytelling or poetry, to be honest. He asked if I wanted to hear a joke about his penis, but then said, never mind actually, it's too long. It's a shame because I did want to hear it. Um. <laughs> Take four. One of my greatest peeves in life is when the food arrives at a restaurant and somebody else's meal looks better than mine. I'm an emotional person and I'm not very good at hiding my disappointment. My girlfriend got very angry with me for making a scene in Pizza Express last week. But to be fair, my sloppy Giuseppe did shit all over her margarita. On this occasion she was a loser, and with it being the third time in a row that I'd won, it felt appropriate to scream the phrase killing streak. So, no, honestly, it was so funny because it was like, obviously it was a colouring competition and it was for children. I emailed the team asking them to look over a document but forgot to attach it. I immediately emailed again, joking about how maybe I should try actually attaching it this time. <laughs> I entered it as an adult and I came second. <laughs> I forgot to attach it to that too. So I emailed again, joking about how I'd not woken up yet and promising that the document was now attached. <laughs> He's not laughing. Let's try it. Let's try it. A different one, please. You know, I mean, that's obviously not an Apple one, but it does the same job. Uh, poems. Uh, that's probably Amy. <laughs> uh, um, do this one. I downloaded an app which measured the time I spent looking at my phone every day. It was far too easy. I managed to complete it on the third day with the maximum possible score of 24 hours. I then moved on to a sleep tracking app. This was a little more difficult but I eventually achieved the same score after a few weeks of sleep deprivation and with the help of some pills. Right now I'm playing one which counts my daily calories. It's definitely the hardest of the three. Yesterday I ate 40 French fancies with no sign of the game ending. Today I try 50. Okay. Like 50 French fancies. Okay. Yep. That is so rude. Time's ending now, Dan. That is so rude. Shut up. Sorry. Sorry, Dan. No, he wants one.